Welcome back even with King family to another F1 Clash video. In today's video we're here for the Champion Series event boost guide video uh, where we're going to be sharing with you what boost we think will work best for each track uh, as you do your Champion Series event. Alright so uh, as you know we normally share boost guide for the opening round and the final round uh, in today's video we see that we have eight different tracks so we're going to be sharing uh, for all eight we're going to give you uh with the aspects of dry for some of these with wet with possibility of wetness uh and the aspect of wetness all right so here we go first one up we have singapore all right so we see from previous uh events singapore is one of those tracks that requires uh some boost with corners and grip all right so let me just jump back over here to this menu Singapore requires some boost with corners and grip. So boost slightly downforce uh, with corners and grip in there. Uh, turns out to be good boost for Singapore. You could also go for a boost like the odd boost, which, which has good corners and a little bit of grip as well uh, to top it off. All right. So boost with corners and grip. Uh, works great at Singapore if you have a boost with like high corners like the skull boost here uh, You could go with that or if you want to go with a boost that offers you high grip uh, Like the reindeer here. Uh, you can also go with that. All right So that's for Singapore corners and grip also remember that any boost uh, that gives you corner and grip and also adds a little bit of tire management in there is always the best option over uh, another, a boost that gives you straight corners and grip, all right? Uh, for Italy, uh, we see Italy is gonna be dry and we see again corners and grip again for Italy, all right? So the same boost that you used at Singapore, you can use that, you can use at Italy as well. Uh, if you're starting like in the mid pack or in the back of the pack, uh, and you want to make up some positions, you can then uh, go for a boost that gives you a good amount of speed and overtaking for Italy as well. Uh, and those boosts will allow your drivers to overtake uh, a good amount of positions and pick up some spots. Uh, but if you're like mid-tier and you want to pick up some good spots, make sure you go for those boosts that gives you corners and grip. And as I said before, ones with a little bit of tire management with the uh, aspect off the track is really good to go with all right so we see france 13 percent chance of rain for france here uh so if it's a dry france uh 13 percent normally it'd probably be like bipolar weather or something like that but uh normally uh when you see 13 percent it, it might be dry and it might be a mixed race or it might be a bipolar race where uh you see uh weather weather changes are changing really quick all right uh so we see for france 13 percent chance of rain it's corner and grip if the track is dry that's required for france and france is another track like italy uh if you're trying to make up some positions uh and you want to pick up some space uh make sure you use some boosts with high speed and overtaking uh those boosts tend to work good down the long straights uh and will make up some positions for you there all right if it's a wet you want to go for corners and speed uh, as i said speed works really nice to make up some positions so if it's wet corners and speed it is uh, if it's dry corners and grip it is all right for austria 33 percent chance of rain here so austria united kingdom and japan has the highest chance of rain from the series so i expect one of them or two of them might be a complete wet race uh, so we give you the dry and the wet selection uh, for those tracks all right uh, austria corners and speed uh, if it's dry and it also requires corners and speed if it's wet all right so corners and speed completely is for austria uh, if you're gonna go with corners and speed for austria let me show you something real quick if you're gonna go corners and speed at austria here uh, let's say you're going uh, corners and speed so let's say let's look for a boost that gives you speed and corners is there any boost that gives you speed and corners? Uh, don't think so. Yeah, I don't think there's a boost that gives you speed and corners, only speed and grip. So if you go for a boost that gives you good overtaking, like the dead pass here, uh, that gives you a good amount of overtaking 
uh, potential with all of that speed going down the inside there. Uh, you want to go, if you go for that while the race is dry, when the race is wet, you don't want to go for a dead fast. You want to make sure you give it something. You, you go for something like the hex here. That gives you a high amount of speed with corners, right? So it, if you're going to go for, uh, make sure whenever you're going for a wet boost, you always select a boost that gives you some form of wetness ability. If it's even one wetness ability, that's good enough. Uh, go for it. All right. So boost like the Samba here, uh, that gives you two or the Echo exception that gives you uh, the same amount of speed as the hex does uh, with three wetness instead of one uh, you could go for boosts like that but make sure if it's wet you're selecting boost with some form of wetness ability uh, as you throw in boost with those speed and corners all right all right so let's look at the next track which is the united kingdom so united kingdom is basically the same thing as Austria. It requires corners and speed if it's dry. And if it's wet, it also requires corners and speed. All right. So if it's a wet race, you want to go with the same same boost that you use on Austria for the United Kingdom as well. All right. So Japan uh, is also a little bit the same, but you, there's a little bit difference in the wet, in the dry. If it's a dry Japan, you want to go for corners and grip uh, for a dry Japan. Uh, but if it's a wet Japan, then you want to go for speed and corners. So uh, what we normally see happen is that Hutch normally groups the track based off of at least three attributes. So three of the same boosts can do the first three races. And then the next three races will be require three different boosts. Or sometimes they group them by two. So here you see France, Austria, and United Kingdom and Japan basically using the same amount of boost, the same type of boost uh, for dry races and wet races, all right? Except for Japan that requires the little grip uh, if it's dry, all right? So for Canada, we see dry Canada and we see corners and grip uh, control in Canada and the same for the UAE corners and grip controlling the UAE as well, all right? So use this information uh, to make your race plans uh, and select, basically look through and see what kind of boost you want to use for each race and what are the, the different possibilities. If it's going to be wet, you're going to go for this boost. If it's going to be dry, you're going to go for that boost. Uh, if it's going to be a, a mixed race, you want to play kind of both sides. So if it's a mixed race, uh, let's say it's a mixed race on the United Kingdom, a hex boost will do good same way on the United Kingdom because it plays good at dry and it plays good in the wet all right so stuff like that you just got to think about it and then make your strategy and make your plan based off of the information you gain and use this video uh to go through your weekend uh to come back check for your opening round check for your final round you can test in your opening round and also run uh a complete full strength on the final round all right so that's basically going to be it for this one use code word inbox so let me know that you made it to this portion of the video really appreciate you guys who watch the full video for all your support and that's basically going to be it for this one see you guys in the next one peace well good guys bye shout out to marco pedrano amg alfredo jr fit mantis christopher graves nathan arseno and touch my daily